Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about facial oils. I used to just use facial oils during winter but I'm finding that I have been incorporating it in my skincare regime all throughout the year and so every season and I use it morning and evening. The way I use it, I put on the facial oils last when I put on all the moisturizers and serums and then I will top it off with the facial oil. So that's how I tend to use it. There is no science behind why I do that but I just do uh, so today I have 11 empty products and nine brands that I wanted to talk about and as usual I will talk about it in the order at which I will recommend it also do note that I have been using a lot of the products that I have so I'm starting off with all the sample sizes and then move on to the deluxe sizes and then to and then to the full size I don't want to waste any products that I have at home and so I'm just using a lot of my samples as well let's start off with the first brand and this brand I know I have repurchased in the past and so highly recommend so first brand is the Josie Marin 100% pure argan oil light so that's what the box packaging is the bottle I know I recycle them I use them I put macadamia oil in it and I'm just using it so this one I highly recommend and also if you are venturing into facial oils I think that it's good to try the lighter version because there is a uh, because this one is definitely a lighter version of the original argan oil and you may want to, to go to that route first before going full on with all the facial oils but highly recommend so and then the next brand is from i think the name of the company is macadamia naturals so this is what the packaging looks like i know it looks so gross because i had this for a while now this is an australian company so this is the pure extract of macadamia natural beauty face and body oil and fragrance free so 150 ml macadamia oils of australia pty limited I do love macadamia oil. I actually have a, uh, I bought it a year ago, a liter of a macadamia oil and I tend to use it as my base oil. Because of this, I bought that. I have finished this a long time ago, but I kept it for the purposes of doing a, an empties video. But one of the best oils that I will recommend, facial oil and body oil, is macadamia oil. And because this is an Australian brand and company, I definitely will recommend. The next brand and product is another Australian company. This is Cosme Australia and it's the Certified Organic Rosehip Oil. And this is what the packaging looks like. This is a sample size. I have used up a couple and this is 100% organic. So it says here, specialist skincare oil may assist with the appearance of scars, acne, wrinkles, stretch marks, sun damaged skin, dry and sensitive skin. Rose hip oil is also a great oil. I do believe in facial oils and I know that rose hip oil helps in diminishing wrinkles and so I have bought a different brand of rose hip oil. If you want to try, Cosme has got 100% certified organic. All right, highly recommend. The next brands are something that I will not repurchase, I think. Yeah, so but I will just talk through it because I have just used it. Next one is from Tarte and it's their Pure Maracuja Oil. That's what the packaging looks like. This is super tiny. It's cute packaging though. I think this is only like seven. This is seven mil. So I've used up a couple uh, i don't know much about maracuja oil i'm happy with the macadamia and rosehip oils that i have but i would not repurchase this but then if you want to try it go ahead i did get it from a set so it, so it was part of a set i enjoyed using it but it's not something that i will repurchase all right the next brand is from nude and it's called the pro genius treatment oil it says it's got omega 3 6 7 and 9 we need all these omega 3 oils right i can't say much about the effect on my skin because it was quite tiny this is 10 ml and this is a brand from europe so it's made in france but it says it's treatment oil if this is available in your country and you've used it let me know i don't know much about this brand and so i can't recommend it perhaps worth trying if you want to venture into 
all other brands of facial oil. Okay, so the last brand is from Olay Henriksen and, and this is the Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. It's with active vitamin C plus A and omega 369. Right, so that's what the packaging looks like and this is how many mil? So this is 15 mil. A lot of YouTubers do love this brand. I find it overpriced and that's why it's on the last of my list. So overpriced that I will not repurchase. This is Italac size and hence I know that I didn't buy it by itself but it was part of a set. It was good but I will not recommend it. There are better facial oils that are not, are not the same price as this one. I think that you have to try as much facial oils in the market as you can. You have to try other brands if you can and take advantage of sale and also like gift purchases so you can try them on. But because I have been using a lot of facial oils in the past and I've been trying a number of products there are certain oils that I like to use. I go and source them from wholesalers and try and buy from them. I'm no longer part of the getting to a hype of buying a facial oil because everyone in YouTube loved it. And for the price point, you can actually make your own facial oils by combining a number of different organic oils and uh, making it your own concoction and to me that's what i've been doing but otherwise these are the products that i have used up and i definitely will recommend the macadamia oil and the argan oil all right that's it thank you all for watching see you again next time cheers bye bye mm -hmm.